I travel a lot in Southeast Asia, and one of the realities, one of the ugly realities of the region is it's something, a, something of a sex tourism haven for foreign sexual predators. Unfortunately, people go there um, for the sole purposes of having sex with young women, young men, underage men and women. And one of the conversations that one always seems to have is a repeated subject that comes up is how the people who are visiting there are often utterly and totally disgusted and scandalized by the foreign perverts who go there to um, get away with things that they couldn't get away with elsewhere in their own country. For better or for worse, however, the worst sort of vilification, criticism, and expressed disgust is reserved for um, Gulf Arabs who um, come there for that reason. Um, they're by no means a, a huge uh, section of the uh, sex tourists. Um, I would say that the overwhelming majority of sex tourists in Southeast Asia are white Europeans or white North Americans, Australians, whatever. But there is a noticeable element of um, Gulf Arabs or ostentatiously Islamically dressed um, Muslims come to uh, engage in the same sort of activity as their fellow sex tourists from Europe and America and Canada. These people really get um, spoken ill of by everyone. They get probably the worst sort of vilification of all, uh, the sex tourists. Now that's that'll tell you something. Um, even among sex tourists, these people are held out as true perverts. Why do you suppose the Muslim ones get the most vilification? I think I know why. This is where the uh, stereotypes get truly disturbing. The Semitic pervert, the Semitic lecher, and yes, the Semitic pedophile. There's a number of cartoons out there that um, disturbingly portray uh, Muhammad or other Muslims in a state of sexual arousal, leading a child off to we know where. I couldn't bring myself to link to any of these, but they're easily found out on the internet. Um, and again, um, the implication is this is what Muslims do. It doesn't matter that the overwhelming majority of Muslims, or I would say just the same proportion of Muslims, are as disgusted and disturbed by pedophilia as any other society. That is irrelevant when you're uh, making casting aspersions like this. It's the same sort of thing that was traditionally um, implied to be a Jewish practice, lechery, child molestation of non-Jewish children, seducing the wives of good Gentiles, good Germans, good Aryans, good Christian women, using their money, their ill-gotten money, as a means of buying the favors of, um, or seducing or misleading good, wholesome, non-Jewish women. Good, wholesome, it's, it's implied, white women. I have some links below of that, and I've, I've gotten those links off of uh, web pages that are simply cataloging these sorts of uh, things in the past, usually from Nazi Germany, but there are other sources. Um, and I, I didn't feel quite so bad um, linking to these, simply because they are held out as examples of the perversity of racial um, anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish propaganda. You would have thought that we would have learned from the Holocaust where this kind of thing leads. Why is it that we simply refuse to learn? Thank you.